everybody, my name is Alicia and welcome back to Double A Homestead. It is a beautiful day out, not too hot, but it's just right. Perfect day for the garden, as you can see, that's where I'm at. And I have my zucchini and my squash plants behind me. I wanted to focus a little bit more on these today and there are a few things that are going on with them and I wanted to share that with you. Starting off with the coloring of these leaves on the summer squash, the pattern on here and how it is a whitish color. There have been questions about, is that powdery mildew? And no, thankfully it is not. It's just the way that the leaves are and how it grows in it, its DNA. So it's not something to be concerned about whatsoever. Now, if it was powdery mildew, you are able to touch it and if it comes off, then that's a sure sign. You can combat that with copper fungicide. That's what we use in the garden and it does help. If there are other ways that you're looking to combat that, you can Google on recipes on how to help fight that in your garden if that's not something that you wanna use. I just know that it works really well for us and I do like to use that. The first three here at the end of the row is our summer squash. And the reason why we have so many is because if something was to happen to one of the plants, I know that rest assured that I have two more or even one more that I could harvest from through the summer. And I always can um, sow another seed in there to get a late harvest of that if I really needed to, but I don't have to just because I do have backup. The next three are going to be our zucchini. And this is what I'm talking about here. You can see on the first one, what I mean by if we were to lose a plant, this one is not looking so good. There could be a multitude of reasons why the zucchini plant decided that it didn't want to make it. I know that when we got here, we did the soil testing, that the soil is not that great. We did our best to adjust the pH level, put fertilizer in here, and also compost in here. And when I planted these, I planted these from seed. And I just stuck it in the ground, put a little compost on the top, and let them go. Some of the leaves are turning yellow, which could be a sign of nitrogen deficiency. Whereas the other plants, when I planted them, we did a mixture of fertilizer in compost in the hole, even though we already added compost and stuff to that. So there are ways that I can treat this and I want to at least try to get some fertilizer on this. Maybe that will help along with taking off the vegetables on here to put that energy back in. I have a theory when I plant these plants in the garden and sometimes they try to flower a little too early when they're not big enough or tall enough or haven't really established themselves in the garden yet, I will take off those flowers and let that put its energy back into the plant so it can grow up to be stronger. That way in the future it's ready for peppers or whatever it may produce. So what I did with this one here is I took off all of the zucchini, even the small one. I want the plant to put its energy back into growing instead of focusing on growing vegetables. So I'm hoping that may help. I guess we'll find out in the future. Unfortunately, somewhere along the lines of recording this video for you guys, I had actually switched over to my phone. I had lost audio on our camera and our system that we were using. And this is the second um, audio that we have bought and it's just not working out. And the reason why I'm even talking about this is because I had a big moment in the garden and I had my first harvest inside the garden. Now I have harvested things from the top garden, you know, peas, the garlic scapes and lettuce, the, but from the main garden, I was able to harvest this summer squash. And I know I say that I love this and I love that. It's really hard to pick a favorite. There is a lot of things that I love in the garden. Harvesting is my absolute favorite time of year. I love, you know, tomatoes, squash, watermelon. I absolutely love um, doing that. And that's why I'm so bummed that the first 
harvest. I wasn't, I caught it on film, but I lost the audio and wasn't able to share that special moment with you guys. So I'm showing you now how excited I am for my first summer squash. One of the great things about summer squash and zucchini is you can pretty much harvest them at any time. Of course, as you saw, this one that I had harvest, this is not usually the size that I like to harvest them at, but of course for reasons I harvest this one. You can still eat this at this size. Now, I prefer to harvest them at this size, but of course you can let them get a lot bigger. But the thing about that is you're going to get bigger seeds as well. So moving on from all of that, the main reason why we're out here today and I combat this every single year, I try my best to help at least dwindle the population of squash bugs. And I usually check about every couple days to see if there's anything. I did cut this leaf off, it's just easier to show you guys, but here, these are going to be your squash bug eggs. There are many different ways that you can do things to combat these in your garden. I have tried burning them before. I have tried duct tape, which are both effective, but not my favorite. So what I have landed on is I use regular packaging tape. I love this stuff and may take you know, a few tries to be able to get all the eggs off just because you can see here, sometimes they get deep in those little crevices there and it can be a little bit more difficult at times to get them out, but it doesn't put holes into my leaves, which honestly, it's fine. Your leaf is going to survive. I just don't like to do that. What I'm going to do is take my tape and get somewhat of an okay sized piece, rip that off, and I'm going to put it back onto itself to kind of like make a circle. That way I can fit that around my fingers. And what you do is you just get that tape in there and get them bug those eggs out that way. They're not bugs yet, but if you leave them there, they'll turn into bugs. Sometimes you might have to play around with it a little bit. This leaf is wilted, so it's not as easy to get in there to get all of the squash bugs. You might have, to, or the squash eggs, you might have to get in there a few times to get all those. And these ones are yellow. When they're more mature, they're going to be more of a white color but I don't know if you can see on there, those eggs that I've got. And I'll just roll this up in another piece of tape and I'll just throw it right in the garbage. Honestly, you could even trim the leaves that have the eggs on there. But with doing that though, you wanna be a little bit careful just because you don't wanna take the top leaves off. Typically the eggs are usually on the bottom leaves, but I have seen them on upper leaves and on top of the upper leaves as well. I'm going to go ahead and check these other summer squash and zucchini plants to make sure there's no more eggs hiding on these leaves. I'm all done going through those plants and you can see I found a decent amount of squash bug eggs in there so I'm glad to be able to get these out of the garden. Of course I have my butternut and my acorn to check 
they typically don't move over to them until at least my experience from last year later in the season that may have depend on that's when i caught them and they had already been there earlier in the season so it just varies but i typically keep my eye on these they tend to like these more but i still do uh, every once in a while check on the acorn and the butternut. Before I head out, because we are all about squash today, I wanted to give you an update on our butternut and our acorn squash. They are doing absolutely wonderful this year. First row here, this is acorn, and then we have butternut over here, but these pretty much take over this whole section. They tend to get pretty crazy. Uh, they are vining. We thought about maybe putting arches over here to help these grow on instead of on the ground and taking over, hoping that may help because I do have to turn these back just because they do get out of control. I threw the little pieces of zucchini and a leaf in there to see if they'll eat it. I don't know if they will. I threw weeds in here the other day and they ate most of them. Left some, but we'll see if they eat this. Sometimes when it's new things that they've never seen before, it takes them a minute to try it out. Hi, Olive. They're attempting the leaf. I'm curious, what is your favorite fruit or vegetable to grow in the garden or even harvest? And do you also struggle with squash bugs? Put that in the comments below and let me know. I want to thank you guys so much for joining us on the homestead and being in the garden with me today. I really enjoyed having you here with me and I really nice way to help us out is to hit that like, subscribe, and share button. We would really, really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.